Uh, welcome to introductory lecture on electric drive. My name is Deepak Kumar. The topic of this particular lecture is electric drive and it encompasses the topics like introduction and parts of electrical drive system and what are their choice criteria. So at the pre-most preamble I would like to discuss what is electric drive and what is the concept behind this electric drive. See in most of the production equipment used in modern industrial undertakings consist of mainly three components namely your prime mower, energy transmitting device and the actual apparatus or equipment that performs the desired job. The function of first two components is to impart motion and operate the third one that is load. The most commonly used prime mover is of course an electric motor since it is far superior in performance to steam, hydraulic, diesel and other types of engine. Electric motors are often operated directly from a supply line under their own inherent speed torque characteristics and their operating conditions are dictated by the mechanical load connected to them. However, in many applications, the motors are provided with a control equipment by which their characteristics can be adjusted and their operating condition with respect to the mechanical load varied to suit the specific requirement. The most common control adjustment is of motor speed but torque and acceleration or deacceleration can also be adjusted. So the control equipment usually consists of, consist of relays, contactors, master switches, solid state devices such as diode, transistor, thyristors. So the aggregate of electric motor, the transmitting energy transmitting shaft and the control equipment by which the motor characteristics are adjusted and their operating conditions with respect to the mechanical load varied to suit the particular requirement is called an electric drive. So if you see the definition it is mentioned that an electric drive is defined as a form of machine equipment designed to convert electrical energy to the mechanical energy and provide electrical control of this process. And the basic element of the electric drive are electric motor, transmission and electrical control system. So electric drive often include conversion equipment, frequency changer, rectifier unit, motor generator set, ETC to attain smoother and more versatile control and make the motor operate on specific speed torque characteristics. On the next diagrams you will see the numerous types of electric drive systems these are there so you say that there is a complex control circuitry to operate the motor at the required values according to the speed torque requirement now if you see the complete block diagram of electrical motor, it can be represented as shown. So it is a complete block diagram and load is usually machinery designed to accomplish a given task, for example your fans, pumps, robots, washing machine, train centrals. Usually load requirement can be specified in terms of speed and torque demands. A motor having speed torque characteristics and capability compatible to the load requirement is chosen. Power modulator perform one per perform many function here in this block diagram shown after the source. It can modulate flow of power from the source to the motor in such a manner that motor is imparted speed torque characteristics required by the load. During transient operation such as starting, braking and speed reversal, it restricts source and motor current within permissible value 
excessive current drawn from source may overload or it may cause a voltage drop convert power moderator also convert electrical energy of the source in the form suitable to the motor you see the example the source is dc and an induction motor is to be employed then power moderator is required to convert that dc into the variable frequency ac power moderator also select the mode of operation of the motor that is motoring or braking when power moderator is employed mainly to perform function uh, uh, that is conversion function that is ac to dc dc to ac or dc to dc or ac to ac it is basically then called as converter control for power moderator are built in control unit which usually operate at a very much lower voltage and power level in addition to operating the power modulator as desired it may also generate command for the production of power modulator motor input command signal which adjusts the operating point of the drive forms an input to the control unit sensing of certain drive parameter such as motor current and speed may be required either for protection or for closed loop operation so why do we need electric drive what is the advantage as compared to this system that as compared to the traditional system see if you are using this control unit sensing unit uh, power moderator of course the circuitry is com becoming complex what had has lots of advantages for example they have flexible control characteristics the steady state and the dynamic characteristics of electric drive can be shaped to satisfy load requirements speed can be controlled and if required can be controlled in wide limits electric braking can be applied control gear required for speed control starting and braking is usually simple and easy to operate availability of semiconductor converter implant thyristor power transistor igbt gtos linear digital ic's microcomputer have made this control characteristics even more flexible it is possible to reshape the characteristics of drive almost at will to most load requirement in an optimum manner speed and torque and transition from one mode to another can be controlled smoothly and steplessly optimal control strat strategies can be implemented to achieve high dynamic performance high efficiency or to minimize the suitable performance index drives can be provided with automatic fault detection system plc programmable logic controller and computers can be employed to automatically control the drive operation in a desired sequence these drives are actually available in wide range of torque speed and power electrical motors have high efficiency low no load losses and considerable short time overloading capability using drive it can be made in variety of design to make them compatible with load compared to other prime mover they have longer life lower noise lower maintenance requirement and cleaner operation these drives are adaptable to almost any operating conditions such as explosive and radioactive environment submerged in liquids vertical mountings and so on using drives drives do not follow the environment it can be operated in all the four quadrants of the speed torque plane electric braking gives smooth deceleration and increase life of the equipment compared to other form of braking when regenerative braking is possible considerable saving of energy is achieved these features are not available in other prime movers unlike other prime mover there is no need to refuel or re warm up the motor they can be started instantly and can immediately be fully loaded they are powered by electric energy which has a number of advantages over the other form of energy it can be generated and transported to the desired point economically and efficiently conversion of electrical to the mechanical energy and vice versa and electrical energy from one form to the another can also be done efficiently and economically because of these advantages mechanical energy already available from the non electrical prime mover is sometimes first converted into the electrical energy 
by a generator and back to the mechanical energy by an electrical motor. So there is an electrical link. That electrical link that provide electrical link that is provided between the known electrical prime mover and the load imparts to drive flexible control characteristics. Consequently, the load requirements are fully met. For example, in diesel, electric, locomotive and ship, the mechanical energy produced by diesel engine is converted into the electrical energy by an electrical generator and is utilized to drive electric motor which drive locomotive and ship. So the operation of generator and motor can be controlled to shape speed torque curves and the other parameters to meet the traction or propulsion requirement in the best possible manner. Now, if you see again back main block diagram, you can you can clearly say that there are, there are major parts in this block diagram as load, motor, power modulator, control unit, and source. There are large number of loads, and each load is has its own specific requirement. Here we examine the four main part that is motor, power modulator, source and control unit. So let's discuss at the very first about the electrical motor. See motor commonly used in electric drive are DC motors, shunt, series, compound, permanent magnet, induction motor, squill case, bond rotor and linear, synchronous motor, bond field and permanent magnet brushless DC motor, stepper motor and switch reluctance motors. In the past, induction and synchronous motor were employed mainly in constant speed drives. Variable speed drives consisting these machines were either too expensive or had very poor efficiency. Consequently, variable speed drive applications were dominated by DC drives. AC motors are now used in variable speed drives also due to the development of semiconductor converter employing thyristor, power transistor, IGBT and GTO but due to the presence of commutator pressures in the DC motor they have a number of disadvantages as compared to the AC motor such as high cost, weight, volume, inertia for the same battery need for frequent maintenance, unsuitable for explosive and contaminated environment and restriction on maximum voltage speed and power rating. Squill case induction motor which costs nearly one third of a DC motor of the same rating is extremely drugged, requires particularly, part, practically no maintenance and can be built for higher speed, torque and power rating. Bond rotor motors are more expensive than squill case motor. Their maintenance needs although more than squill case motor are much less compared to DC motor. They are also available in high power rating. One field and permanent magnet synchronous motor have a higher full load efficiency and power factor than induction motor. One field motor can be designed for a high power rating than induction motor. However, compared to skill case induction motor, they have higher cost and size for the same rating and require more maintenance. The permanent magnet synchronous motor have all the advantage of a skill case induction motor except they are available in lower power rating because of the numerous advantage of a AC motor AC drive has succeeded in replacing DC drives in number of variable speed application. Brushless DC motor is somewhat similar to permanent magnet synchronous motor uh, but has lower cost and require simpler and cheaper converter. It is being converted it is being considered for low power high speed drives and for servo application as an alternative to DC servo motor which has been very popular so far the DC servo motor has all the disadvantage of a commutator and brushes at low power level the coulomb friction between the brushes and commutator is objectionable as it adversely affects the steady state accuracy of the drive recently stepper motor has become popular for the position control and switch electrons motor drive for speed control now the next thing is power modulator see basically if you classify the uh, power modulator it can be classified as converter variable impedances 
and switching circuits. Some drives may employ more than one of these modulators. Those power motors which are employed in industry drive will be discussed here. So first is converter. When a power modulator perform a function like rectification as shown in this slide rectifier inverter AC regulator AC voltage controller chopper cyclo converter it is called that power motor is called converter need for a converter arise when nature of the available electric power is different than what is required for the motor so we know that the power source are usually of two types one is fixed voltage or fixed frequency AC or fixed voltage DC for the control of DC motor one require variable DC voltage whereas for AC motors one require either, either fixed frequency variable voltage AC or variable frequency variable voltage AC these motor requirement are met by the converters or their combination the first is AC to DC converter which is basically a rectifier They are used AC to DC converter are used to get DC supply of fixed voltage from the AC supply of fixed voltage. If you see the figure A, they are used to get DC supply of fixed voltage from the AC supply of fixed voltage, such as a converter is known as uncontrolled rectifier. While if you see the converter from B to J, allow a variable DC supply to be obtained from a fixed variable voltage AC supply. In converter of figure 1 B and C, a stepless regression of output voltage can be achieved by controlling the firing angle of the converter thyristor by low power signal from control unit. Converter of figure B is a two quadrant converter in the sense that it is capable of providing variable DC voltage of either polarity with positive current. However, current converter of figure number C is a single quadrant converter, positive voltage and current. Converter of figure B and C produce harmonics both on DC and AC side and have low power factor for low voltage, low DC voltage. The converters of figure D, E and F operate at a unity fundamental power factor. The output voltage in converter D is changed by applying mechanical force. Two discrete steps of DC voltage can also be obtained. In converter of figure E, figure E output voltage can be varied steplessly by controlling the duty ratio of the semiconductor device of the chopper by a low power electrical signal from a control unit. The converter of figure F is a controlled rectifier employing self commutated device such as power transistor, IGBTs and GTO. It can be a single or two quadrant converter depending upon the circuit. When connected in anti-parallel, converter of figure B and F can, be provi can provide four quadrant operation, variable voltage and current of either polarity. In AC to DC converter of figure G, output voltage can be controlled by controlling field current of the generator from a control unit that is amplifier of high power level that then the control unit of converter of figure B, C, E and F this can operate in all the four quadrants because of the two rotating machine it has a number of disadvantages that is bulky, heavy, noisy, less efficient, slow response, expensive and require special special foundation disadvantages associated with commuter and brushes of the DC generator figure G are removed in the converter of figure H. However, this converter can operate in a single quadrant only. Some very old equipment may also imply AC to DC converter of figure I and J, employing magnetic amplifier and amplidyne respectively. A magnetic amplifier and amplidyne are controlled from low power DC signals. Now, let's talk about the next topic that is AC voltage controller or regulator 
to AC voltage controller are employed to get variable AC voltage of the same frequency from a source of fixed AC voltage. Variable controller of figure A gives a fixed AC supply voltage. The auto transformer capable of giving variable output voltage are not implied due to the sliding context. Variable AC voltage with few discrete steps is obtained from the controller of figure B. The control is exercised by mechanical force. The output voltage and source current are sinusoidal. Converter of figure C employs a thyristorized voltage controller. Stepless control of output voltage can be obtained by controlling firing angle of the converter thyristor by low power signal from a control unit. Output voltage and source current have harmonics and power vector is poor at low output voltage. Few old, few old drives may employ a magnetic amplifier to get variable voltage AC from fixed voltage AC. Because of high cost, weight and volume, poor efficiency, they have been replaced by a thyristor voltage controller in almost all applications. Now next chopper or DC to DC converter, they are used to get variable voltage DC from a fixed voltage DC and are designed using semiconductor devices such as power transistors, IGBT, GTO, or MOSFET and thyristor. Output voltage can be varied steplessly by controlling the duty ratio of the device by low power signal from a control unit. Next inverters. Inverters are employed to get variable frequency is variable frequency AC supply from a DC supply. Stepped wave inverter figure A can be designed to behave as voltage source or current source. Accordingly, accordingly they are known as voltage source or current source inverter. For the control of AC motor, voltage or current should also be controlled along with frequency. Variation in output voltage or current can be achieved by varying the input DC voltage. This is achieved either by interposing a chopper in between fixed voltage DC source and the inverter or the inverter may be fed from a AC to DC converter from among those of figure B, C or F. Output voltage and current have stepped waveform. Consequently, they have substantial amount of harmonics. Variable, volta variable frequency and variable voltage AC is directly obtained from a fixed voltage DC when the inverter is controlled by a PWM perspective modulation. The PWM control also reduces harmonics in output voltage. Inverter are built using semiconductor devices such as thyristor, power transistor, IGBT, GTOs and power MOSFET. They are controlled by firing pulses obtained from a low con power control unit. In the past, variable frequency supply used to be obtained from a frequency changer employing a rotating machine. Such schemes have become outdated to the numerous disadvantages. Next thing, cycloconverter. Cycloconverter converts fixed voltage and frequency AC to variable voltage and variable frequency AC. They are built using thyristors and are controlled by firing signal derived from a low power control unit. Output frequency is restricted to 40% of the supply frequency in order to keep harmonics in the output voltage and source current within the acceptable limit. Now, talk about the variable impedance. Variable impedance are commonly used for the control of low cost DC and AC drives and also needed for dynamic breaking of drives. Variable resistor may have two, that is full and zero, or more steps and can be controlled manually or automatically with the help of contactors. Stepless variation of resistance can be obtained using a semiconductor switch in parallel with the fixed resistance. Variation of or variation of duty ratio of the switch gives a stepless variation in effective value of the resistance. In high power application, liquid rheostats known as slip regulators are employed to get stepless variation of resistance. Inductors usually in two steps, full and zero, are employed for limiting the starting current of AC motors. Old drives may also employ saturable reactor for the control of induction motor 
in saturable reactor reactance is controlled steplessly by controlling DC current of the control winding. Now switching circuits. Switching operations are required to achieve some few aims such as first for changing motor of connection to change its quadrant of operation, b for changing motor circuit parameter in discrete step for automatic starting and braking control, c for operating motor and drives according to the predetermined sequence, d to provide interlocking to prevent maloperation, e to disconnect motor when abnormal operating condition occur. Switching operations in motor power circuit are carried out by high power electromagnetic relays known as contactors. Recently attempts have been made to use thyristor switches. Thyristor switches have disadvantage that they cannot provide perfect isolation between the source and motor circuit. Consequently, contactors continue to be widely used. Switching operations based on load particular position is implemented using limit switches. In the past, sequencing and interlocking operation used to be implemented using a low power electromagnetic relay. Solid state relay have replaced them almost in all applications. For the implementation of complicated sequencing and interlocking operations, PLC programmable logic controllers are employed. Now let's discuss about the sources. In India, single phase and three phase 50 Hz AC supply are readily available in most locations. Very low power drives are generally fed from single phase AC source. The rest of the drives are powered from a three phase AC source, except in the case of traction drive, where even at a very high power level, single phase AC supply is used because of economy. Most drives are powered from AC source either directly or through a converter link. When fed directly from 50 Hz AC supply, maximum speed of induction and synchronous motor are limited to 3000 rpm. For higher speed, conversion to higher frequency supply become mandatory. Low and medium power motors, tens of kilowatts, are generally fed from a 400 volt supply for high power rating. Motor may be rated at 3.3 kilovolt, 6.6 kilovolt, 11 kilovolt, and higher. In case of air aircraft and space application, 400 Hz AC supply is generally used to achieve high power to weight ratio for our motors. In mainline traction, a high voltage supply is preferred because of economy. In India, 25 kV 50 Hz supply is employed. In underground traction, major expenditure is cost of the tunnel, which should be minimized by keeping its cross section just enough for the train. Consequently, clearance between the light conductor and the earth also have to be minimum. In view of this, underground traction system employ low voltage, that is 500 to 750 volt DC supply. In Western India, Bombay to Igatpuri, 1500 volt DC is used for main line and the suburban traction which is uneconomical and therefore future installation will not use it. Some drives are powered from a battery, example forklift trucks and milk vans depending on the size, battery, may, volt, battery voltage may have special typical value of 6 volt, 12 volt, 24 volt, 48 volt, 110 volt DC. Another example of drives but from a low voltage DC supply is solar power drives used in space and water pumping application. These drives though presently very expensive have a great future for rural, rural water pumping and low power transport applications. Although choice of motor doesn't depend on the type of supply but there are many other factors which are even more important therefore a DC motor may be preferred over AC even when the AC supply is available and AC motors may be preferred over DC even when the supply is DC. Now the control unit. Controls for a power moderator are provided in the control unit. The nature of the control unit for a particular drive depends on the power modulator that is used. Because of their large number only two cases are discussed will be discussed. When semiconductor converter are used the control unit will consisting of firing circuit which employ linear and digital, digital integrated circuits and transistors and a microprocessor when sophisticated control is used. When control of switching circuit is required for any purpose that is discussed earlier, function of control unit will be to provide sequencing and interlocking. interlocking. So 
solid state relays are used and when and when control is complex plc programmable logical controller can be used for this purpose now let's discuss what are the criteria of choice of rectify drive see choice of rectify drive is depending upon the number of factors some of the factors are such as a steady state operation requirement nature of the speed torque characteristics speed regulation speed ranges efficiency duty cycle quadrant of operation speed fluctuation if any rating b transient operating requirement value of the acceleration deceleration starting braking and reversing performance c requirement related to the source type of source and its capacity magnitude of voltage voltage fluctuation power factor harmonics and their effect on the load ability to accept regenerated power d capital and running cost maintenance need life e space and weight restriction f environment and location g reliability so these are the choice criteria For selection of reliable and efficient motor, it is essential that the condition of service are known. It is not sufficient to simply specify the output power in kilowatt and speed, but it is also necessary to know the additional particulars, such as torque at the shaft during running, starting and different load, accelerating torque and braking torque, switching frequency, efficiency of motor at different load, and other working requirement. In studying the behavior of motor speed, motor selected for a particular driving unit, one of the first problem involved is to determine whether the speed torque characteristics of the motor suits the requirement imposed by the speed torque characteristics of the driving unit. So, drive behavior during the transient period of startup, braking, or speed change, or also depend upon how the speed torque characteristics of the motor and the driven unit may vary. With, uh, driven unit vary with speed. It is therefore imperative to study these characteristics in order to able to select correctly the motor and obtain an economical drive. Now, status of DC and AC drive. In the past, induction and sequence motor were mainly used in fixed speed application. Variable speed applications were dominated by DC motor drives. Emergence of thyristor in 1957 led to the development of variable speed induction motor drives in late 60s which were efficient and could match the performance of DC drives. Consequently, because of the advantage of skill case induction motor or DC motor, it was predicted that induction motor will replace DC motor DC drives in variable speed application. However, following hurdles forbidden the for the production to come true, such as first, although skill case induction motor was cheaper than DC motor, the converter and the control circuit of an induction motor drive was very expensive compared to those of DC drive. Therefore, the total cost of induction motor drive was significantly higher than that of a DC drive. Two, while the technology of DC drives are well established, that of AC was new. Third, AC drive were not as reliable as DC drives. So, development in linear and digital IC and VLSI were helpful in improving the performance and reliability of this AC drives. But then this development also led to the similar improvement in DC drive. Improvement in thyristor capabilities, availability of power transistor in earlier 70s and that of GTO and IGPT in late 70s and late 80s respectively. Reduction in cost of thyristor, power transistor, G2, development of VLSI and microprocessor, and improvement in control technique of converter have resulted in re into the reduction in cost. Simple controllers and improvement in performance and reliability for AC drive. Although even now, majority of the variable speed application employ DC drive, the AC drive are preferred over DC drive in number of applications. With the result, AC drive applications are growing. Induction motor drive find application in low to high power application 
and synchros motor drives are employed in very high power megawatts and media power drive. The permanent magnet synchros motor and brushless DC motor drive are also being considered for replacing DC servo motor for fraction horsepower range. As the trend exists, application of AC drive will continue to grow. However, DC drive will also continue to be used for quite some time. Hopefully, you will find this lecture very informative and I hope you have enjoyed this lecture. So, say bye bye for right now. We will see soon see for the other lectures. Thanks for, <coughs> thanks for your listening.